ahead. Sure. Yeah, yeah sure. so far so good. Obviously, uh, you're not sure what you're coming into, and uh, but I think it's good. I mean, it's different now. Obviously, seeing all all the teams uh, in the same area, you kind of obviously I think once the games get rolling, it'll be a little different. But um, it's kind of nice to see some guys you haven't seen in a while. And um, but I don't know, it's different. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's, I mean, different in, in a sense where you're not used to, uh, you know, competing against guys and then riding the elevator. So that's all something that we've got to get used to. As far as the bubble, I mean, um, yeah, it's really, I mean, not flashy by any means. You got, uh, you know, food, bed, hotel, probably. It's going to be, I think it'll be better once, you know, the games start getting playing here. It gives you something to watch on TV and maybe the NBA games get going here. It's going to be a little bit more to do. But uh, right now we're practicing and, and waiting for playing the games. Yeah, I think guys are just kind of getting used to it right now, figuring out exactly what the routines are going to be, um, you know, how they're going to go out the business. But once the game starts, uh, guys get into a routine on their days off where, you know, you just kind of rest and, and hang out with the guys. And until then, uh, everyone's just already just figuring it out, I guess. Okay, the next question will come from Jeremy Rutherford. Hey, Troy, there's been a lot of talk about the uh, players playing with no fans. You've been involved in a lot of postseason series. What about for the referees? They won't have everybody criticizing, I guess, at least half the calls in a game. How do you think it'll be officiated in this situation? Um, I, I think it'll be, you know, exactly the same. They're trained and they're professionals. And, and uh, you know, they're not going to have home crowds uh, booing them or cheering them or anything. But uh, they may hear a little bit more verbal abuse from the players because there's not going to be any background noise. <laughs> The next question will come from Tom Timmerman. Um, for all of you guys, and I know this time we can go from the other side and start with Troy, but just how eager are you guys to get out there and play a game tomorrow? Um, I think it's going to be an experience that everyone's kind of looking forward to. Uh, we walked around the rink the other day, saw the setup in the rink and, and how they're doing it with all the video boards and uh, covering the seats. So, um, you know, I think warm up's going to be a little – Awkward, just uh, guys looking around in awe a little bit. But uh, once the game starts, most guys will tell you hockey's hockey and, and uh, you just go out there and play. Yeah, I think, you know, NHL and NHLPA did uh, what they could and, uh, and did a good job with covering the, the seats and, and trying to uh, fill it in and making a kind of a, a different surrounding. And, and like I said, I think tonight too, when uh, some exhibition games are on and stuff like that, you'll kind of maybe tune in and, and see what the, the games are like and uh, see what they're going to have for crowd noise and stuff like that. And it's obviously a different feel. It's a unique experience and probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Obviously, we've uh, kind of been without hockey for four months and we've been scrimmaging against each other as a team. So getting the chance to obviously play against someone in a different sweater will be nice. And um, it's always fun to obviously go in, into battle and do what, do what we like to do. And, and that's play hockey, obviously. So um, it'll be exciting. Uh, and obviously, we're, we're looking forward to uh, just getting things rolling here and uh, getting into the, the round robin games and then obviously the playoffs. OK, we'll take the next question from Jim Thomas. Braden, why aren't you wearing a St. Louis hat? Did you not get the memo? <laughs> now that you say that, I guess not. I'm wearing my uh, Saskatchewan 3D bull riding hat. That <laughs> a guy from back home that uh, has company. So uh, didn't get the memo. I guess I didn't get the team issued sure, hats. <laughs> and the next question will come from Lou Korak. Really, for any of you guys to answer, um, how much of the fact does it help that it's Chicago tomorrow? Does that raise the intensity level a little bit for an exhibition game? And how much urgency is there going to be to try to, you know, put all together into one game what you guys have been practicing here for, during training camp? Yeah, I think obviously we, we know the rivalry, rivalry we have with Chicago. And um, obviously, it's they're always intense games. They're always fun. Uh, but I think just in general, um, where we're at here, um, how we have to get prepared for these round robin games. It's, it's going to be a game no matter who we're going to play. Uh, it's it's going to be important for us to uh, just learn from it, um, just do whatever we can to uh, put our best foot forward and get ready for, for these round robin games. They're important, um, and it's gonna, going to uh, mean a lot while we work towards getting in the playoffs. So it's uh, it's definitely important no matter who we're playing, but obviously being Chicago, it's, it's always fun to play against them and a uh, good rivalry. Yeah, I think, um, 
you know, they, they do, uh, the NHL did their job to put the rivalries and make the games uh, intense as, as they can off the bat. Um, like I said, this is one game for us, uh, you know, to get ready uh, for our qualifying games. And it's obviously not a lot of time. So uh, usually you have eight or nine games or seven or eight games to, of exhibition to, to ease into it. But uh, you got to uh, use this game uh, to get ready, um, I guess, for the qualifier in the playoffs. Next question will come from uh, Jeremy Rutherford. Hey, Braden. Uh, the playoff beards, nice having some experience after the long run last year with those. And does Colton look any meaner with that goatee? <laughs> uh, yeah, play, it's all part of it. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see when the guys do start the playoff beards. Are they going to start them uh, during the qualifiers or when the first day of the playoffs hit? So uh, I think hotel life, bubble life, you're going to be seeing uh, <laughs> some scrubby looks a little bit uh, throughout the playoffs here. And uh, I'm sure the Blues are going to be no different. And we'll take one more question from Tom Timmerman. Uh, Troy, it looks like uh, your wife gets credit for starting the, for having, coordinating the welcome notes to uh, players. Um, what did it mean to you to, to have that there waiting for you? And uh, what else do you know about it? Um, no, it was just really nice when you get into your room um, to have a nice little surprise like that. And, and honestly, I didn't know that she did it for everybody until the next day. Um, but it's, uh, you know, a coordination between all the girls, uh, you know, getting pictures and, and just trying to make it as comfortable as possible in the bubble here. Um, you know, it's hard for us to uh, leave the family and we know how difficult it is to, to leave our families and, you know, wives, girlfriends, whatever it may be. But uh, for them to make that little bit of extra effort uh, so that we could feel more comfortable in, a, in an unknown situation, uh, it just, you know, it's just a very nice gesture by the girls. And we will do one last question here. We'll go to Jim Thomas. Just a quick thing. I just want to ask any of you guys just what the practice rink's like and where you at that Terwilliger complex again today. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Um, I believe every time. I think even believe game day skates at the on the seven o'clock games. But yeah, it's 25, 30 minutes out. It's actually it's good setup there. They got some gym, uh, you know, dressing rooms and and really all we need. So uh, with the, you know, with so many teams being in one rink, uh, they did a good job of uh, maximizing space and, and utilizing it the right way. And uh, we have a good setup there.